Yo, what's up, YouTube family? It's your boy Kuzi. Back at you with another hot TikTok reaction video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Y'all, let's get it. Now, I'm watching the 2024 Olympics in Paris, guys, and watch LeBron James shapeshift on live TV. LeBron Lizard Man James, look at his eyes. Look, look, look at his eyes. You see the reptile eyes right there? This is a high class reptilian shapeshifter. LeBron Lizard Man James caught live shapeshifting in the 2024 Olympics. I can't believe this. Press play. Rewind it, rewind it. This is live TV. Look at this. Look at that, look at that. I'm telling you, man, they all around, these lizard people. Man, what y'all, what LeBron got going on with his eyes, man? People gonna say that's a glitch, man. I've been showing y'all this, I've been showing y'all this over and over about how they show the glitches and stuff whenever they come camouflage systems or whatever uh, kind of malfunctions, you know what I'm saying? But uh, y'all peep it for yourself, man. He kind of looked like Eddie Murphy out of Vampire in Brooklyn for a second, man. That's crazy. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. I got to do that, man, because uh, I'm... <sighs> Miss Jackson go. Lee was always engaged in the oversight of the Secret Service, and her passing is a great loss That's to crazy. this body. It's not a coincidence for, for y'all who know if y'all was reading the subtitles, man. She was overseeing the Secret Service. It's not a coincidence that she passed away. And then I seen in another video that it had a soldier standing next to her coffin and the flag supposedly was backwards and he was standing next to her feet or whatever, whatever. I don't know however that goes, man. The, the backwards flag or something, if you're a traitor or something. I'm not saying that. I'm saying what I've seen. That's it. Swimmers. They cold swimmers. Squeeze it properly, honey. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to. Oh, oh no. Did you see this? Like a bullet. Okay, so I don't know if everybody's heard the story about Mel's Hole. Well, Mel's Hole is in Ellensburg, Washington, and Mel stumbled upon this hole on his property, and weird things started happening. He started, the animals started acting weird. They tried to drop fish in line, other things. They went as far as they could, and it was just very scary, and they believe that this hole is the hole to the bottomless pit because there's no bottom to it. Well, check this out. From the boss group thought about going down the hole themselves. But everyone else quickly said that was a bad idea. So they came up with another plan. They would lower a sheep down into the hole instead. Now this might sound strange, but they really did it. The sheep, though, seemed to know something wasn't right. Okay, so it's obvious they were scared. It's obvious everybody was scared. So they decided to lower the sheep into the hole. Now you have to imagine how terrified the sheep was to be lowered there. But they say the sheep actually hit bottom. And when they did, they shined the lights down there to try to see what was going on, and they could see what was down there. All that trouble. It was this little interdimensional meanie guy and his friends down there with the Dollar General. All along, it was Dollar General down there. They didn't build him a store. I should have known Mel's hole was housing a Dollar General. Here we go again. Man, that's a massive hole, man. Pretty sure a lot of y'all heard of it before. If you haven't, let me know down below, man. If you have, let me know down below in the comment section. Have you heard of Mel's Hole before? And uh, what do y'all think happened to Mel? Because they said they haven't been able to get in contact with him for a while. But it's very mysterious. It could go to the center of the earth. You never know. Y'all check this footage out. So a trucker in Alberta, Canada captures a 11 through 13 foot Sasquatch on his dash camera while driving on site. This is amazing. Watch. You're about to see. Keep watching. Look at it. Oh, Look at him right there. Man. That thing is huge. 
That's a legit Sasquatch, you guys. 11 through 13 foot tall. Alberta, Canada. Though. And he doesn't even notice the Sasquatch at this point. The story, the story says he doesn't notice the Sasquatch until he parks and actually gets out of his truck and sees it walking. And, and once he sees it, he gets back in the truck and drives off site. He took off running. He gets back in the car and he takes off. So, you think that footage was real? Me personally, yeah, I think it was real. But I don't know what he really seen, but I seen something, but I can't quite call what it was. But uh, what's the first thing you would have did in that predicament? Let me know down below in the comment section. I don't know what y'all thought this was, but this is the go. GOAT. I had this made because somebody told me I was the GOAT. So I wanted to make me a GOAT chain. All that other shit y'all talking about, I don't know what y'all talking about, but this is the GOAT. Greatest of all time. With a blue diamond on his head, gold, gold. That other shit y'all talking about, miss me with that bullshit. Dog is the goat. Represent peace and love around the whole globe. Get him, glow. Get him, glow. So now y'all know the truth. It's a goat. I don't know what kind of misprint y'all niggas was on. Media love starting shit. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm gonna be having fun in pairs. Yeah, Glow. Yeah, Glow. Call it what you want, Anubis. We see through the smoke screens, man. That's a Balfamit. A Balfamit is a Balfamit. A goat is a Balfamit. Come on, man. A lamb is a lamb. Get it, got it, respect it, man. We see what's up. Okay, so a friend of mine caught this image. Actually, his wife caught this image while he was uh, working. That is actually him in the front of this. And that being that you see in the doorway is behind him. And he doesn't know it. He doesn't even see it until his wife shows him this image and says, Hey, look. This is what was going on. She actually thought at the time that that was somebody there. He was training on the job because he was working. That's him. I think he's been over doing something there, and he doesn't see what's going on. And that entity is behind him. I did a video about this uh, last time uh, on my other profile, on my other account, before it was banned. And here's this image. I've lightened it up so you can see the face a little better. Now this is what you get when you see the face of this image. You can see it in the doorway a lot clearer. But yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's pretty authentic what I'm seeing here. So uh, you leave your comments. Let me know what you think about it. It's uh, pretty profound. You can tell what's going on here. So as I as I say, he had no clue that that was there until his wife told him. Leave your comments. Wow, man, Uh-uh. Uh, my dude. My dude. I'm, a, um, I'm about to head on out. Why, bro? Yeah, I'm, about to, I'm about to bounce. I'm going to check you out. It's been, it's been what's going to be. Yeah, yeah. No, you, 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 you told me there was an all-white pot. You, that's what you said. You said the all-white pot. It's going to be fun. It's, they having a whole goddamn Dracula mm -hmm. initiation like that. Yep. You, you like call uh, Van Helsing? Blade, get, get them over here. Because I don't know what the fuck going on. Bella, uh, Jacob, all them out there. Sookie, Bill Compton, Celine, Victor, Lucian, and, 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 and the bitch out there chewing the incense. That, she look like she is a full-blown deputy. She hang with Celine. All them out there. Now, it's the Filipino version. 
is a Filipino word, but still, I'm kind of pissed with you. I'm kind of pissed with you that you even had me over here. I you you cool. No, no, I'm kind of pissed with you that you even invite me over here because I, you know, I could have been doing something else besides almost dying. Now, not, protect your neck, my nigga. Uh, that's all I can tell you. But peace, I'm out. Man, hold up, man. Could that be what the uh, all white party really represents? That's all I'm going to ask y'all right now. Let me know. Okay, so let's check out this security cam. Watch this as these guys come down these stairs. Watch what happens. That's exactly right. That's what you're seeing. They're being attacked by a demonic entity. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say that this is fake, but when I watched it, you know, I, I'm sitting here saying, you know, it's absolutely, it could be some sort of an act. It could be planned. It could be acted out. But then again, it could be very real. This is what we have to consider. Anytime we see something like this, these type of events happen all the time. This is not something that doesn't happen, guys. I'm not saying it's real. I'm saying there's a possibility it could be. So with that being said, you have to ask yourself, you know, how many of these occasions really take place? How many of these situations? You know, we see some of the videos and some of the videos we go, oh, well, we know that's fake because there's no possible way. There's a possible way. Take it from me, there is. Leave your comments. We actually found it. Man, something definitely got a hold of them boys, man. I don't know what it was, but something definitely jumped out on them boys. I think we found this cave, but here it is. Have a choice to either keep going on this level or to go up. Or to, start or to go up. Whoever made this staircase knew what they were doing. Yeah. Dude, the elevator. Holy crap. Dude, it sounds like there's power to it or something. What? Whoa. Oh, no, I'm getting a Whoa, dude, I can see a platform way up. Man, y'all tell me, man. What you think was going on down there, man? Let me know. Christians are not recognized solely by the Bible they carry or the number of fellowships they attend. In the spiritual realm, they are distinguished by a constant radiant light akin to a brilliant candle within their hearts, a luminous halo around their heads, or an encircling mm. wall of fire. When a Christian walks, angels accompany them, one on their right, one on their left, and one behind shielding them from our reach. Our only means of success is to lead them into sin, thereby creating an opening for us to infiltrate their lives. When a Christian is driving, we find they are never alone in the car, always accompanied by an angel. If only Christians comprehended the full extent of God's blessings, they would refrain from sin and live with vigilance. The making of backslidden Christians. In my Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I got a good one for you this morning, guys. This one was sent to me in my email, and I think I saw this a long time ago, but check this out. This guy gets out of the car, and as, and I'm not sure where this is at. I was told it was in Chicago, in a parking deck. So he gets out of the car, and there's a portal. Now, ask yourself, is this fake? I mean, you're seeing this on a security cam. This guy is tripping. Check him out. See you later, let's go to the next dimension. Now look, his girlfriend or his wife, whoever that is, takes off. Is this real? Is this a movie? Is this acted out? So let's watch it once more. Once more before I head out the door and go to my other job this morning. Well, here we go. Pulls up. Okay, there's the portal. Let's go to David Eckhart's house. Okay, here we go. Okay, 
And the first thing a human does is that. This is what we do. Hey, let's go inside of it. See you later, never. See you never. Leave your comments. Tell me what you think. As usual. Not another Doctor Strange portal, man. Let me know down below if you think that was real or you think that was kept. For entertainment purposes only. But they say we lost a hundred people while we're building the Hoover Dam, right? A hundred people in just, what, it took 15 years? And the first person and the last person that died were father and son on the same day, mind you. But let's forget about any weird facts about fathers and sons. Let's talk about symbolism and statues. Mm -hmm. Now, why on earth would someone go out of their way to put this creepy, I'm just gonna say it, fallen angel statue here on the Hoover Dam. Interesting, I saved a bunch of pictures here to show you, but for some reason, uh, I can't, I can only use this one. That's interesting. But there's two of these angels. And let me tell you, this is some elite Malachian shit if I've ever seen it in my life. Say, man, I ain't gonna lie. Ain't nothing to coincidence, say. There's some significance to that. For sure, for sure. Let me know what you think down below. If you know, you know, man. Thinking Stargates, huh? Hey, Those dude. are real, and aliens are real, but they're not from outer space. And that's according to the top two UFO researchers after decades long research. So go to sabrell.com and so where do they think they're, they're from? In time. They're not from outer space. They're interdimensional and hmm. potentially fallen angels disguising themselves because they're liars of, of something like you said can't be proven or disproven i'm from this galaxy yeah. 300 light years away <laughs> this is kind of what tucker carlson thinks he uh, I, he thinks I, there's I, a spiritual element to it and he thinks they've always been here and he thinks that this is what's kind of documented in the bible is like good and evil and that's it exactly and... i mean that's what's going on I mean, the top two UFO researchers said UFOs are real, number one. Number two, they're not from outer space. And number three, they're demonic. And that's what I talk about, the, where it talks about fallen angels interbreeding with humans, as talked about in Genesis 6, and creating a race called Nephilim, who were men of renown, world leaders. Could you Man, I ain't gonna lie, I've been saying that for some years now, man. I see a lot of people really starting to get this understanding, the understanding, I mean, this understanding. I said it right the first time. Just trying to get y'all on game or help, you know. But yeah, uh, I've been saying it for a minute, man. You know, especially in my, when I start making these videos, I've been telling people that, but like, a lot of these other channels gonna mislead you, man, to tell you some other stuff, but uh, it's okay, man. It's, it's, it's your boy Koozie, man, here to lead you the right way, you know. Let's go. It has just been announced that one of the Olympics' largest sponsors has pulled out all advertising over this. Seaspire, the sixth largest wireless provider to the USA, found the mockery of Jesus Christ so disrespectful that it can no longer be associated with the 2024 Olympics. But you will not believe what Elon Musk tweeted about this too. Unless there is more bravery to stand up for what is fair and right, Christianity will perish. Is Elon Musk right or is he wrong? He's right, because if we as Christians stand back and let the whole world laugh at our saviour, no one's going to get saved. If we ourselves do not take our message seriously and stand next to the Lord Jesus Christ and be prepared to be counted and count the cost, no one is going to believe us when we say Christ Jesus is the most special thing, he is the most precious person in the world. So right now, today is not the day to be silent. Today is not the day to be a 
doormat. Today is the day to speak up and say, this is wrong, we do not agree with this. And we stand with Ceasefire. We stand with those who say, no, we will not watch the Olympics this year because you are mocking our savior. And he means far more to me than a bit of sport, than a bit of entertainment. Say, man, when you know better, you do better, man. You can't, you, you know what I'm saying? You can't follow the crowd. You, sometimes you gotta go the other way. Go against the, go against the, you know what I'm saying, the groove, man. Go against the motion of the ocean, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know against the current. And do your own thing. And I'm not saying necessarily, I'm not saying necessarily your own thing, but his thing. You know, because uh, all the non-believers most definitely will face the wrath of, you know, the most high. And that's just how it is. And y'all seeing that, and you know, 4K, 5K, man, every day. You seeing it every day, man. Let's go. And it's getting more and more intense now. So y'all. I want you guys to listen to this very important message this brother had to say. You can tell by his body language and mannerism that he is sincere in everything that he has to say. This truth can no longer be hidden, y'all. Check this out. Hey there, my family. This is your brother, Dana, and I'm coming to you from the city of Atlanta. You know, the decision today from the Supreme Court was not a shock to me because we know that every system in this nation, including the justice and the Supreme Court, was made to sustain, maintain, and above all else, protect white supremacy, white power, white privilege. But see, this is what my white family don't understand. And what they don't understand is the time of us Gentiles is up. The time of the Gentiles is up, white family. So it doesn't matter about your military power. It doesn't matter about your president in the office. It doesn't matter even about the Supreme Court's decision to protect your white supremacy. Because the Bible says that the time of the Gentiles will come to a fulfillment. And you are the generation to see and witness the fulfillment. Luke 21, 24, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Those are our black brothers and sisters and will be led away captive into all nations. That was our black brothers and sisters, ancestors that were taken into all nations by the Atlantic slave trade. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down by the Gentiles who are our current white Ashkenazi Jewish people. And look up what ish on the end of the word means in the English language. And these Jewish Gentiles will trodden down Jerusalem until the time of the Gentiles is fulfilled to you my gentile family members the time of our reign has been fulfilled it is now time for jacob to rise to the head our black brothers and sisters that we have held captive underneath white supremacy for more than 400 years they are the real Hebrews of the Bible. And what took place in Egypt to the powerful Pharaoh and his kingdom will be exactly what takes place into this mystery Babylon, the United States of America. As God or the Most High God comes to set his precious chosen children, our black brothers and sisters, the real Hebrews of the Bible, free. And so there is no Supreme Court ruling. There is no president, no army, no intelligence that you can have to hold back the Most High Yah God coming to get his children remember Pharaoh thought he was all that in a bag of chips too
and they have been warned over and over again to let us go but still we are kept in captivity this is why tiktok has done what it done to the majority black creators this is also why DeSantis chose to remove our history from the school system they don't want their children to know what their ancestors have done to us but with this new age that we have entered everything in the dark must come to light must face the light this is why the sun is so bright right now nothing can hide underneath the sun all truths will be revealed in due time y'all the truth cannot remain hidden anymore let me know what you guys think about this video down in the comments below keep up with me on my instagram my youtube and my facebook thank you for tuning to my frequency let's get this shift peace in same man y'all let me know what y'all think about that down below in the comment section and one more thing if y'all liking the video so far do me a favor hit the like button comment let me know what you're thinking and don't forget to share 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 these amazing videos i mean that is if you think they are amazing and you like them that is if not that's cool too i appreciate the view but uh yeah y'all do that especially if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i drop some new hot content that you definitely don't want to miss let's go we begin with breaking news in West Houston where law enforcement is dealing with a sinkhole in a neighborhood. Right now, eight homes have been evacuated. This started this morning on Sutherland Terrace Place off of Memorial Drive between Gessner and the Beltway. Our Jalissa Garza joins us live with what we know now. And Jalissa, that is a scary sight out there. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Cheryl. And according to the Houston Fire Department, the sinkhole opened after a cistern collapse. Now, take a look at the, some of the video we got of this sinkhole earlier just to get a better idea of just how large it really is. Now, the cistern that collapsed, a cistern is something like a tank or artificial reservoir that captures rainwater. Now, that large sinkhole is right in the middle of eight homes. Because of that, a precautionary evacuation took place for folks who live in those eight homes. While the sinkhole doesn't look like it's getting bigger, folks who live in the neighborhood are concerned. I've seen other properties where the hole will get bigger if the rain continues. So hopefully we'll get a break in the weather. Right behind the sinkhole, there are several businesses and caution tape has been extended to the patios of some of the businesses just as a precaution. Now, the Houston Fire Department says that building engineers came to assess the damage. No injuries were reported. Of course, this is still an active situation. You can see crews just got here putting up some more items to get some repairs started. But we're going to learn more information. Man, sinkhole, boy, I ain't going to lie, that ain't no joke. But uh, I would imagine that would happen in Houston, man, because every time it rained down there real bad or real good, or anybody in the South, I ain't say anybody, but any state in the South almost that gets a tropical storm, Houston gets flooded almost every time, especially whenever they get a massive rain or a nice little rain, it floods every time, so it's not too surprising. The cow or a chicken, they, don't, they only exist for one purpose, to be a food supply. There are no cows in the forest. There are no chicken on, chickens on the Serengeti running wild. Chickens exist to be nothing but hot wings. Cows exist to be nothing but steak. But to the cow, it doesn't understand this. It believes whatever social thing it's doing, like getting up every day grazing or whatever thing it does, or it is made to do, is its life. It believes when it has calves, it's just procreating for something that will be here and that could be here. Not that it's making another steak just so you can entertain yourself on a, on a Friday night on your date as you, as you enjoy your steak or your whatever. It is just nothing but food. And it's hard for us to accept that we can be the same thing here. Nothing but food to a cosmic source. See, but According to come Why they all call this quest the devil's errand? Why they either quit their research or are driven insane by it. Easy. The secret, Al. The last ingredient of the stone. It's live human beings. Hey, what's the matter? The only variance is the number of sacrifices required. Number of sacrifices? A fallen city. Or an entire tribe lost to genocide. Atrocities of war so horrific, all that remain are the graves. Tens of thousands, or hundreds of thousands of misplaced souls. In the hands of a skilled alchemist, these lost souls are brought together, forged, 
into the Philosopher's Stone. So this is one of Oprah's well, favorites. Great. She says it's a miracle fountain of youth and her magic wrinkle cure. So I'm going to put a little on your hand. I'll do that. Oprah did. Yeah, Oprah yeah, did yeah. it. All right, so here, we're going to rub it right in. How come it's red? What's... I sh I'll show you in a sec, Steve. So this is made from growth hormones. Oh, of. Mm -hmm. but so, so it's made from human foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Steve. Yeah, I'm listening. You tell Oprah this what's on her face? <laughs> she knows. She knows. She knows. There were a couple protesters about it because they are cells from baby foreskin. Oh, baby foreskin. Yeah, that makes it better. And they think it's a joke. Some will laugh about. Man, stop playing with me, man. What you do in that predicament? Ladies, I hope y'all not using that stuff because it's a lot of that stuff out there that's, you know, made with that type of, you know human material that's all i'm gonna say but hey y'all that's the video y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section don't forget to share 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 hit that like button comment if you're new to the channel subscribe hit the notification bell on your way out <laughs> it's your boy koozie i'm out holla